Hey everybody, welcome back to more Monster Train. Uh, we're gonna dive in. We have a new faction now that we're going to check out and uh, everything's gonna go perfectly smoothly with absolutely zero mistakes because I'm a professional Monster Train athlete. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this. The Stygian Guard. Draft the support of the Ancient Guard of the Stygian Sea. Mystical Sirens and Ancient Totems work together to eradicate the Winged from Hell. I have no idea what type of clan this is. I don't know if they're tanky. I don't, I don't have a clue. So in terms of an allied clan, I don't know what's best used to support these guys. Healing, spells, I, I don't know. So let's just maybe leave this one up to... Oh, maybe I can't leave it up to chance if I pick one. Okay, let's take the... Let's take the Awoken. Just for a little bit of healing. They have those big tanky guys. We'll see how this works. And then there's this Covenant rank now. Add additional random cards to your starting deck. Enemies are stronger. Or forge the Covenant to increase challenge and master cards on victory. Because I think this is every time you beat it. Yeah, every time you win a run at your highest unlocked rank. So I think we're just going to disable it for now. Okay. Seraph the Diligent. The end is near. The Great Trader will devour your spells. You better bring more of them if you hope to succeed. Let's do it. So what's our champion like? Handheld Totem. So not very strong in terms... Like, pretty fragile, actually. But they attack all units, which is nice. Um, strike. Apply spell weakness of one to the attacked unit. So this is brand new to us. The next time the unit's hit by a damage spell, it takes that much damage again for each stack of spell weakness. Okay. So actually, this would be a really good combination with the other faction. Um, not so much this healing one, but that's okay. Damage spells cast on this floor cost minus one. Maybe, these, maybe this has its own uh, powerful spells. Let's see here. Yeah. So Frozen Lance, six damage. Uh, there's our allied for healing and regen, and then our trained stewards. So, yeah, these spells coming in with this group is okay. Hmm. And how much do they cost normally? We can make them free, which lets us cast a whole bunch of them. But then we don't have the sweep. This is actually a tough call because we don't know, uh, we don't know much about it at all. I, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with this. Let's gain an artifact here. Plus three... Ma oh, well, I mean, straight away, we got to take that, I think. When you play your third spell of the turn, all ma all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. Oh. this And this would stack, I presume, right? So if we have all of these being free on that floor, we could, we could get that pretty regularly. And then it will stack over time and maybe even do more damage than this. But this is, you know, I'm going to take this. It's flat. It prevents us from uh, overcomplicating things. Okay. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes of three, which I think is probably okay. Considering that uh, we're going to be using a lot of spells. Let's see. Okay, so they've got spikes, but we have a lot of damage. So first up, we're going to throw Tethy's Titan's Bane in, and then we'll do the Frozen Lance. Now, this this is only to the front enemy unit. We can't actually target it. So that's a bit of a bummer. But we'll, uh, we'll put these guys in front. And then we can put this up here. Okay. So we're going to kill this one. This one will live, but it's not the end of the world. And then we'll have some healing come in for these guys. We want to take that. Hmm. We could do one there, one here. And then we could throw another train steward in. Or we could just do both here. This one will be fine. 
Let's do this one. I'm going to do a restore here. So he'll live. Let's do a restore here. And then we'll put a train steward up top. Oh, I should I should have put the train steward there. That was that was my bad. That would have been free gold. Bye. Oh well. The spikes are actually causing a little bit more problems than I'd like. We're totally fine now. Get you healed up. Okay. Final wave should be pretty straightforward, in theory. Guess we'll put this here. Actually, we might have some problems here. As he ascends, we're going to have less and less to deal with him. I'm going to put this... And not that it matters, I guess, but let's go here. Okay. Clan, okay, 75, 50, and then the clan packs. Let's see what kind of stuff we're going to get here. Apply spell weakness to an enemy unit. An offering is discarded before the end of your turn. It will instead be played. Oh. Unit takes one damage per stack at the end of the turn with frostbite. Decreases every turn. Spells only affect, affect one floor. Eight damage to enemy units and apply frostbite of 10. So, if discarded before the end of your turn, I'm not sure how that works exactly. Deal 28 damage to the front enemy unit twice. That's pretty solid. Unit takes one damage per stack at the end of turn. I want to try this. It's expensive. This is a nice one for healing, but we don't have any other... Uh, we don't have, like, big health pools to heal, so we're not going to benefit from that very much. Spikes or stings. Eight damage to the front enemy unit. And draw one next turn. And it's zero cost. Let's go with this for now. Okay. Stygian unit, Awoken unit, Forge spells, or Forge units. So, I don't really want to spend time forging these train stewards if I don't have to. Um, let's go here. Maybe we can find, like, a tanky Awoken unit that we can use. Is there anything we would want to go to play twice in a row? Depends. Depends. <laughs> 10 magic power. We could go here. Does 18 damage to enemy units. That's a lot of damage. But is that overkill? Because it's expensive, right? If we just go here, then we deal 18 damage on a zero cost card. And that feels kind of nice. <laughs> and then... I don't know if there's a spell yet that I want to play, like... That I feel I need to play back to back so I might save it uh, this one is cheap enough to add to pretty much anything we could even put it here to make this a little bit more usable I'm just wondering if that discard means like at the end of your turn when you're discarding it's going to get played and we'll try to experiment and figure out if that's actually the case okay here we go Two options. Um, on summon, they gain 40 max health, and then they get spikes. And I think this is what we want. We want to have a little bit of a tank. Um, the sweep is nice. But we can heal from this and build up the spikes with rejuvenate. So we're going to take the horn follow. Or the thorn. The horn follow? That's what we're calling it from now on. The horn follow. Okay. So... 5 and 90, sweep. This guy's got armor 25, no attack. And this one grants spikes, but he's easy to kill. Our problem is we don't have a lot of spells that can specifically target any enemies. It's all the front enemy. So we're kind of at the mercy of how they place these guys. I don't want to enter with armor for these dudes. Let's, uh, let's just do it like so. We probably won't take on as many challenges... Being that it's an unknown faction to us. Okay. So what we do here. 
I think we set up these two guys. So we put this guy in front. We put Teethy behind. And then we use this for free. We do some healing. And we put the train steward on the next floor. Uh, this one will die. This guy will die in the next turn. And I think that's fine. Okay, so I want to see if I don't play this, how this goes down. I think I'll go here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go here so that we can get the gold from this one. And then I'm only going to play these restores. And I want to see what happens, if anything, with uh, Titan's Tooth. No. Okay. So it is only like, as as it reads, as it reads, uh, if discarded before the end of your turn. So there must be some cards that force you to, to ditch certain cards that you're carrying. Uh, maybe enemies have stuff like that. But okay, now we know. So up here, we're fine. Might as well just get rid of that. Uh, we can throw another train steward in. And I might as well put this one up at the top. Final wave. Okay, here's a nice sting. 18 damage here. I think the frostbite would be nice. Okay. So now, takes 10 damage at the end of a turn, and then he takes 9, and then he takes 8. Pretty good for bosses, or big enemies that we can't kill right away. Do the regen here, and we're good. Okay, excellent. Whoa. Crypt Builder, 63 damage to the front enemy unit and push it to the back. And if we can upgrade this card to be cheaper, that would be nice. Or deal 28 damage to the front enemy unit twice. This also has Offering. Or another Titan's Tooth. 63 damage is tons of... That's insane. And you push it to the back. Okay, so regen of five. Now that we have a bigger unit, this restoration detonation can actually work out. We'll take it. Okay. Forge spells and regain health. We don't need that. Units. Stygian unit. Let's go down here. Let's grab the unit first. So encant. Triggers when you cast a spell on this floor. That actually works really nice. Or sweep. Attacks everything. On strike. Triggers when attacking. Apply spell weakness. So they take less damage. Or sorry, they take more damage. Hmm. The sweep is... Like, it's just one damage, so I don't see a lot of benefit there. I guess this all comes into just applying that spell weakness, right? So you get that spell weakness on everything. But unless you can do it multiple times, it'll be gone by the time it goes to the next floor. Whereas here, we get, we're get we going to be casting a lot of spells, so I think we take this one. Then we can forge... Upgrade a unit with Endless, 25 health. <laughs> I think for right now, the Thorn Hollow would be good to go with Endless. So it can come back. And we'll even give... Like, we'll give some extra damage. I don't think we need the extra health there. I guess we could give this to the Siren so that it's a little tankier and can stick around a bit longer. But uh, there, we've, we're poor now, so let's move on. And we'll see what we're offered at this one. Remains of the once great Rail of the Covenant litter the landscape. One of the rail spikes still contains some lingering power. You could take it and use it on one of your units or enhance your own magical prowess. Enhance a unit, monster rail spike. <laughs> Plus 20, plus 20, and add Purge. Once played, this card is removed from your deck. Don't like that very much. 
for the rest of the run. What would I, what, what would be the, I'm curious if you guys know, what would I use this on? And it's the same thing here. Increases magic power by 20 and adds the purge. So once it's played, it's removed from your deck as well. Reduces cost to zero. I guess it's just like, okay, so maybe you put this on your train steward, right? And then that'll kind of clear out your deck of those basic dudes. Um, I don't want to ditch any of my spells right now. We can put it on these guys. Now, how did this work with Endless, though? Hmm. Because if you purge it, but it's got Endless. Oh, the unit has to die. So it's not actually removing the card. Let's throw it here. That way, later on, we'd want to try to remove those train stewards from our deck anyway. And since there's not even a trade-off, we might as well just do it, right? Okay, we're good here. Okay, Daedalus. 8 and 250. And then he's going to put down those explosives. Got the damage shield there. All right, so straight up, we're going to go... Well, we're going to go Thorn Hollow or Horn Hollow. And then we go back here. Now... Oh, it's, it, this specifically is for damage spells. I just, I didn't realize that. I guess we could go Crypt Builder and kill this thing, or this will do it as well, and we get the big heal out of it. And then both of these die. All right. Now we have to chunk through here. So we're at max capacity here. We can apply both of the frozen lances. We can do the healing. Now we have a bunch of the spikes happening. So these die, this thing blocks, and then it's going to deal 10. These guys are going to deal their damage. Let's go up here. Uh, it would have been nice to have the incant on the first floor, because that's where we're getting to cast most of our spells right now, but... Little damage on the boss doesn't hurt. Okay. That's fine. We don't need the frostbite. This would be a good one to have that, uh... to, to buff it with that frozen thing so it stays in your hand use whenever you want. I actually think I'm going to cast this here just to give the buff. And then we'll do these. Leave it like so. I can get rid of that, it would be nice, but I'd have to go Sting and Frozen Lance there. This guy's going to get extra damage if he casts spells. Mm. I think we can deal with the extra damage. We can give up a Train Steward here. Or we can do the Sting and the Frozen Lance to get rid of that. And then these guys come up. And get dealt with on the next turn. Because this is going to buff the Encant here, which I like. And we'll just do the Regen. And we can drop another Train Steward at the top. Yeah, I think that works. I'm getting some weird frame issues. I might have to, like, stop and restart this, but let's see if we can get through here. So this is good. These are both going to go... These guys are all going to go anyway. I think we're just going to keep buffing 
this unit. There we go. And now he's in. Okay. So he's actually going to die here. These spikes are actually pretty gnarly. Uh, we can do a big heal. We can do frozen lances. All of them. Okay. Yeah, very nice. And we get the first major enhancement. I don't know what we want to take there, because that's kind of tough. Restore friendly units to full health. Ooh. That would be good if we got more of those big tanky units. That'd be really nice. Applies quick. Uh, we're doing a lot of, like, spike stuff. What's sap? Minus two damage per stack. Decreases every turn. And it's based on how much you spend. Only been played once per battle. The frostbite is kind of a cool mechanic. But at most, this is going to be four frostbite and four sap. But the sap is minus two per stack, so it could be minus eight damage, depending on what we're up against. I think we're okay for healing. Let's try this, the spike. And then we have a new unit. So this looks like a good option. If we encant here, they gain rage. I think we take the Awoken. And then I might even go... We're not really having a problem with Ember. We are going to have a problem with Capacity. Let's take that. Okay, I'm going to see if I can uh, just take a quick pause here and restart the game. Okay, welcome back. I think that's much better. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this left side. We get an artifact, an awoken unit, and we get to upgrade our champion. We don't need the pyre health. Uh, I'm the, I don't think we need to even get rid of any of these cards yet. We're still going to purge this train steward. So um, I'm okay with it. Let's go here. Plus, we took the extra capacity. So we might have a better opportunity to play more units. Let's grab the gold. Let's check the artifacts. X cost cards get plus three to their value when played. That only affects one of our cards right now. 50% chance to swap the front and back enemy units when they enter your train. Yes, that's really nice, actually. Then we're going to go for an Awoken unit. Multi-strike of two. So three by three attacks an additional time each turn. Okay. This is not bad. We, we have to buff this unit with some health, probably. Or <laughs> we go for another Awoken Hollow. We have the one and we have the Thorn Hollow. Any of these hollows are kind of nice to have. Um, they're big, tanky units that survive. And then our, we just don't have a lot of like damage type units behind them. We only have two of these. So the units we put behind are like this Siren of the Sea, the uh, our champion, obviously. I think we'll take one more tanky unit. Just one. And then let's upgrade the champ. Spells in this floor cost minus two is really nice. Or now we apply sweep. And we still have the minus one. And then we get that spell weakness as well. That is not bad. Especially if he's behind. This is kind of cool too because it's more damage. But like spell oh wait hold on it's damage spells yeah so it's damage spells our expensive spells or our damage spells are already based are already free our expensive spells are this crypt builder but i do i want to pick it just for one expensive damage spell i don't think so we're gonna go sweep we'll apply this one okay let's go okay clip guard what do we got relentless Resolve, gain plus five. Triggers after combat. Okay. This guy's got armor. And he's got resolve as well. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Uh, you know what? Let's try it. This could be, this could be our demise. We got a full pyre health. You know? Why not try it? Okay, if these guys swapped, it literally wouldn't matter. 
Uh, we can put our, our combo in straight away. So that sweep is going to be really nice, actually, on 10, plus guarded by this guy. We have both of the frozen lances that we can toss. And then we restore here. This dude is going to go and get um, full health, which is a problem. But we're going to kill one. Now he's got that spell weakness. Hmm. So Crypt Builder takes care of this. If I don't kill these guys, they're going to be full. I could go Siren of the Sea here. Hmm, how do we want to do this? This would be a kill on the front guy, for sure. We have to think about this one. Do we want to play our train steward right now? And get him out of the deck? I guess so. We could even play the train steward down here. And that would guarantee that these guys die. That'd be one. Then I can go Siren of the Sea here. Sting and get the encant build up. And then I even have the Thorn Hollow, which we could put on this... Maybe even up on this floor. Honestly. Or do we put the Siren down here? And that way, when we cast all these spells on this floor... Does that work for us? Hmm. Tough one. You know what? I think I'm going to do it here only because we we are going to cast a lot of spells in this area. Takes two times damage from the... Oh! It's two times? I thought it was just one extra damage. Oh, now that... That changes things a little bit. Oh, that actually changes things quite a bit. Let's do this. I feel like... Uh, maybe that's not the play, but... We could do the offering here. And we keep the train steward. Just this way, we kill this guy, and this guy will be, I think, dead. We get the encant. He's really close, but that's too bad, because he's going to survive. Okay. But now, because he's taking that two times... Yeah, that's insane. Okay. Now I understand it a bit more. So we're definitely going to put this one on. That clears him out. He's going to die. I need to figure out a way to kill here. I might have to use both of my lances to do it. And then we'll have this guy move up. Oh, and that gets rem... Okay, I see. I thought it was removed after the turn, but it's removed after the, um, after the spell is cast. Okay, so that actually makes it not as good. Um, okay. Now we need to think about this a little bit. I think we'll go here. Okay. And now this guy's getting stronger too with that resolve. There's the swap. Sap and Frostbite here. That's an option. Yeah, this is going to get... This is a little bit messy. Now that I'm seeing how this plays out. It's a little bit dicey. We're going to do this. It's going to buff. We're not going to get through these guys. I 
I can't kill this one, and I can't kill this one. Our pyre's gonna have to do it. Um, we could apply the frostbite. I don't think that's gonna matter. Our pyre's gonna have to battle there, unfortunately. And he's gonna get even more damage. Yeah, that kind of sucks. If we do this... He's taking minus 15 here. I don't have a way to get more of that, really. And I guess we'll put the train steward here. Yeah, that resolve is a bit of a problem. Because by the time they get up here, they're hitting pretty hard. And now we have a boss to deal with too. Yikes. So Titan's Tooth. I might have to put this on here. Just give that big frostbite damage. We need to save this one. If I put the train steward in, he survives. I think we frostbite these because this isn't going to come back up again before the boss here. And then I'm just going to do this because it's going to buff our, our guys. I guess we could go here. No, I can't. I it, It's only free if I put it down here. Okay. My poor pyre. Oh, my God. That's heavy damage, man. That, that challenge turns out <laughs> not the way to go. Not the way to go. We might actually just lose right here very possible. Now, he's not going to get that healing as he goes up, which is fantastic, but... Hmm. These guys are taking minus nine there. Keep this one alive. But it only matters, like, if we kill them here. They have to die here. And we're not able to make that happen. Hmm. I guess I can put this on here. Or do we play the hollow next. We'll do something like that. Might eat eat the dust here. Look at that spell weakness stacking though. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're still in it, but our pyre took basically half of its health on this one fight. But it was because of our our uh, desire to get more gold. So unfortunate, but also not the end of the world. We can restore pyre health, hopefully. Boon of the blacksmith. So this was our reward. Oh, okay. Pyre gets extra attack. Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Yeah, that's cool. Now, Guardian's Amulet. Apply sap three to all enemy units. Minus two per stack decreases every turn. On encant, this is a totem. Apply frostbite two to enemy units. Ooh, interesting. It's only a one slot, or it's only a one, uh, yeah, one slot capacity. Or apply frostbite six to enemy units. Can only be played once per battle. 
This frostbite is a really interesting mechanic. Um, so is the sap, but... We cast a lot of spells, so if we can slam this in there... You know what? I think so. Three stings. Can only be used once. 28 health and draw two. Or we apply the quick. Hmm. I think let's go here with the quick. I don't know if that's the best option, but... Okay, so we have Pyre Health on this side, which means we're going to go directly here. And we can upgrade a spell. Oh, Permafrost. Yes. Frozen card. Frozen is removed when the card is played. Yeah, so we're going to grab this, and we're going to put this on, I think, Crypt Builder. Um, or Titan's Tooth. Both are good options, in my opinion. 63 damage or the frostbite of 10. I think we're going to take it on this one. And then we can go Crypt Builder, make it cheaper. For fairly low cost. And then we could get rid of some stuff if we wanted. Do I want to ditch a train steward? We got rid of one already. The problem is we're a little bit light on, like, units. I actually don't know if this is our best play. I think we leave it for now. We're at that 25 mark. 25 to 30, I think, is pretty good. Non-boss units get multi-strike? No, I don't think so. Lifesteal of 10. That's going to be problematic. Armor and harvest... And then this little dude, Extinguish, give plus two damage to all friendly units. All right. We're not going to take the challenge this one. But I will say our pyre is pretty strong now, so something reaches the top. It's not too bad. Uh, this is actually kind of excellent. This is kind of excellent. So we go here. Now, with an enemy like this... The uh, the quick doesn't matter as much, but it is 15 damage. The sweep having quick could be good, though. So that's going to get attack on everything first. And unless it's like a super big tank like this, it should be helpful. Let's get rid of that. And then restore some health here. Oh, that's a nice swap for us. Okay, a couple ways we could do this. We could put this encant back here. Because we're going to be casting a lot of um, a lot of healing spells. And then this applies the frostbite on the lowest floor. And then up here... I think we go Awoken Hollow. We do one of these. Get rid of that guy. And then we get the gold from there. These two die. This one's going to be low. Yeah, cool. I think this setup is pretty good. We do need some healing, which we can get. There's the encant. Hmm. I could use our frozen lances to deal damage there. He's going to take a, a lot of it. I think I should probably get... Get our siren in here. And then we can encant there. He still lives, but we can try to deal with him next turn. And then we'll use this one because it's free. And we get that extra frostbite. Yeah, this... No, okay, man. 
I love this because it's like a whole new game that we're playing. That's what it feels like to me. All the stuff we learned like out the window. Okay, so here is the frozen. We can apply we can apply this uh, frostbite, but I kind of want to just save this. I don't know. Do we? Is this even good on the boss? It's at the end of the turn, so when the bosses play, they take that like all on that first uh, on the first floor, really, which is fine. Eighteen damage there kills him. Eighteen damage to this unit kind of sucks. Let's go there. I think we'll save this Titan's tooth. And we'll get the frostbite stacking there. And then a train steward will put you up top. This guy's going to move up there, but that's fine. Our pyre will take five. Okay. Brief respite. So here it comes. This guy still lives. For now. We could get rid of him with this. This guy doesn't even do any attacks, so it doesn't matter if he survives and goes to the top. This we can play next turn. We could even play all of our lances here if we wanted to give buffs. Or we can try and kill this dude. Are we okay with five pyre health if we don't kill him? I mean, technically. It would probably be okay. Um, it's a tough one. This takes him down to 16, and then he takes that 26, so he would die. So I think we do this. Use one of those. Then down here, we cast our other lances just for buffs. These two defensive guys can go up. We don't care about them. And I can even play my train steward. Oh, right. That actually doesn't even... That didn't... That doesn't accomplish anything there. I would have been... Well, I didn't have the ember, but... Yeah, we only get those... That's right. The frostbite can't apply to nothing. <laughs> okay. So first off, we're going to toss down this Titan's Tooth, I think. Then we have Sting, Frozen Lance, Restore, and a Hollow. But we don't have capacity for this Hollow anywhere. I wonder... Well... Uh, do, does that frostbite damage get buffed because of the attack that this thing will do, I wonder? Yeah, see, now we even get more there. I'm going to keep stacking this frostbite. So 18. Once this thing does the sweep and it gets that spell weakness, I wonder if the um, frostbite triggers on that as well. These guys... Oh, I do have a slot up here. I only have a slot for a train steward, but... It's something. I don't know about this. Then that lifesteal. Yeah, that's... 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 That's messy. That's messy. Okay, well, this is nice. Plus, with the... Um, Plus with the uh, spell weakness. Look at how much damage that's doing. 140. I think we have to do... We have to do that. We could apply the one sap. 
So minus two attack. And an extra frostbite. Otherwise, this gets me two extra damage from these guys per attack. Actually, isn't bad. I think that's probably better. God, he's low. So we will we will kill it. We're not going to die here. Uh, so that's positive. But he is going to make it up to the to the uh, pyre. Okay, not bad. I feel like we're just kind of just hanging on. Here's another uh, glacial seal. Four damage to a random enemy unit five times. It's not bad. Sap three, discard a card. Okay, so there's where the discard comes into play. Hmm. Is this 20, 20 damage for one cost? Or we could use this to like... If we have two of these on the same floor, that's a lot. Mm. Let's try the Ice Storm. 33 health, apply regen of four. Rooted to the enemy unit. So it would have to stay on that floor. And this lets us draw plus one each turn. This guy does take up a slot, so do we value that card? Maybe if I had, like, if I picked the higher ember. I don't know if that's the... I, I maybe should have just not taken a card there, period, but... Okay, so we're being guided by higher health, really. Another artifact here. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less are reduced for to zero. We had this earlier, which is really nice. This is really good, too, for our current scenario. Um, the challenge is we'd have to play expensive spells. So, like, Crypt Builder, uh, Awake. Other than that, everything else is already one cost. So, our chances to use it might not be that good. You know? Whereas we just get a plus 40 Pyre health here. That's pretty solid. Hmm. And our pyre's hitting pretty hard, so if something gets up there, if it can tank a few hits. And also, we have a lot of ways for our spells to already cost zero. So I'm going to take this. And then uh, we can duplicate a card. What would we like to duplicate here? Do we need more units? Not, I mean, we do, but we're limited in terms of, um, we're limited in terms of where we can place them. This is kind of nice. Plus we could have two cards, both having permafrost. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take it. Uh, how much is that card? So two. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. Because I can't cast them both. But I can play one on the first floor and one on the second floor. Okay, fell. Alabaster Guardians have spell shield of five. Fell empowers units with armor. Spell shields with the next five damage spells. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if we can get that sweep in there, then these guys all die, right? Which is nice. Uh, put our endless unit down here. 40 health, rejuvenate, get spikes. I 
I put, uh... Hmm. I'm just thinking about the order of how I want to put these on. I think we go the siren next. Oh, wait. Oh, no. We, we would have the space. And then Teethy's Titan's Bane. And we cast this. It is going to block that, though, isn't it? It was kind of useless, but we get the incant there. And then... I guess we'll start here. Start putting some damage in. Just gives everybody armor. That's gross. Okay. So I think we're going to try... Ah, oh, but this... Yeah, see, this is not good. We need these units to be swapping because we're going to lose this guy already. Uh, it's endless, so they'll come back. There's only four blocks left there, so we might as well just put this on. We get the incants. And then... Go here. Now we need a big unit, though. Oh, we got it. Excellent. So you can go back in front. Now, who do we want to play quick to? I like the quick here because it's the sweep attack. This one will get stronger as we go. Oh, this guy gets armor. Oh, yeah. When we cast spells. All right. Let's be careful there. I do need to get some healing going, though. Man. I think we need to do that just to kind of keep us a little safer. These things blocking spells, that's... Especially against this deck where it, it attacks that front line only. Man. This is annoying. Because he's going to get damage on the pyre for sure. Restore 33 health. I think we put that there. Um, let's do this. I don't love it. So we're going to take another 15 from this guy. Or uh, 18. This could be kind of nice. Spell weakness there, I think. Does this apply if the boss is in behind? Or only if the boss is in the train? Not sure. We have both of them now. And they are cheaper, that's right. If we play it on this floor, we actually can play both. Hmm. This one's free. Let's find out. Yep, it does apply to the boss. That's actually really nice. I think we'll play this now. 20 stacks there. This guy's got a bunch of armor, but whatever. You can do Ice Storm on that. I wish we could save this unit. I guess we can with Ice Storm. Okay. This guy has all that block, so I'm going to let... Uh, this guy's going to get some damage in. It's fine. He dies now. Uh, 
See, and now this one's taking all these stacks every turn, so it's good. Armor there is fine. I don't have a spot to put in uh, the glacial seal. This would be everything we have. It's the best we can do, really. Fifty four. Do this one, this one. Restore here. Might as well play it. Okay, so she's here now. She's taking some damage. These guys are pretty much full health. This guy needs to take a little bit, little hit, it looks like. I kind of want to play Titan's Tooth here to get more of these stacking on the boss. And then we go a couple restores, or one restore in this case. If I use this... Yeah, it's once per battle. I might ditch this. I'm not seeing the full value here. I guess you could argue if you have a, if you have somebody going in to this to your pyre chamber, that's where you're gonna play that. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do here. 484 is not a small amount. We also have Crypt Builder. Uh, can't move. The, okay, boss is going to die in this turn. Excellent. Not bad. Okay. Guys, I'm I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm really happy with how this is going. Okay, friendly units to full health. Channel song is nice. To just get something out there for free. Or discard your hand and draw five. Eh. I think channel song is good. Now do we want to take do we want to take even more space on each floor? Because we could squeeze a totem in there. In some ways we're limited by Ember. I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna go space. I'm gonna go space. We'll, we'll see. This backfires. Higher health over there. Some gold there, but we only have quite a bit. Let's uh take the health. Random artifacts. Okay. Give me something awesome. Applies rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. When a card with consume is played, restore five pyre health. We have uh this one, channel song, and spike of the Stygian, and wildwood tomb. So that's a potential of 15 per battle that we can restore. Or when a card with consumers play, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Mm. This is this is kind of nice. I'm gonna take this. Do I want to refresh? Let's see what else is, is in here. So we might have to do some trade-off here, upgrading our champion. I'm going to see. Grants plus two stacks of Frostbite each time it's applied. Frostbite does not decay. Whoa. 50% chance to discard it. That could be good, but we don't have we only have three cards for this. But Frostbite, that's insane that it doesn't decay. And we get the extra stacks. We're broke. We're broke, but hopefully it's worth it.
Bone Shaker stops near the abandoned remains of the train, looking to have belonged to a merchant. The train still seems to have some wares. A few remaining goods from the clans of the Hellhorn, Awoken, and Stygian Guard are out in the open for the taking, but taking something may cause the abandoned train to fall to pieces. Which clan's artifact do you take from the collapsing train? Hellhorn consumable card, random Awoken consumable card, or Stygian consumable card? Hmm. The consumables that we have are Awoken, which is Channel Song, uh, Stygian, and Awoken as well with the Wildwood Tomb. Let's try this. Consume. Apply spell weakness 2 to enemy units. Okay, it's free. Sure. Why not? But the train collapses, making any other items of value impossible to obtain. Okay. I thought we might take some damage from from that, but... Maybe there's a chance we could have grabbed more. Hmm. Alright, now... Damage spells on this floor cost minus two. We only have one cost damage spells. Uh, I mean, I guess these Titan's Tooths could be played for free. So that's actually kind of tempting. Or we go here, Strike applies Spell Weakness 2 to the attack unit. Spell Weakness of 1. Takes that much damage again for each stack. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. Higher damage output is nice, too. I think we're going to take this. The double spell weakness. Alrighty. Start of the battle. Enemy units appear on each floor. 400 coins? I don't know about that. Wing conduits have mastered the use of their armor and grant their allies the ability to strike multiple times. Remove the conduits, and this power will be removed too. Grants multi-strike. Okay, so these guys gotta go. The problem is, is we don't have specifically targeted spells. So these guys are likely to come in the backside. But if we get this swap off on Curse Vines, then it could be, ben be beneficial. Revenge. Triggers when damaged. It's gonna gain. Oh man, that seems. Those are those are tough. Those are tough mentally to wrap your head around. Okay. I guess we'll go like so. Eight times two, sixteen, one. So if I go restore, we should be fine there. Once per battle. I don't know if we want to throw this down right away. Do a rejuvenate there. And then... Man, he's got a lot of health, this one. Holy smokes. Hmm. That's going to consume it, so I'll save it. Now, this guy, we'll see if we can put something in front of him because, yeah, nice. Is this guy's going to attack for eight. Yeah, this is, this could be cool. So, this guy's going to go. Uh, we can also Frozen Lance to get rid of him. But I don't have a heal here, which kind of sucks. I can put our other tank in front, but then I won't have space for a, uh, a totem. Because if we could go, like, Siren of the Sea and a Totem here, that would be nice. Could put the Hollow in this one. Because even if I get rid of this one, he still does the 8 damage, which kills.
Let's do something like that. And then we'll do... I don't think this is going to do anything. I could put a Thorn Hollow here to protect. This guy still is going to move on. Our Pyre is going to have to deal with it. I can Frozen Lance this to save a little bit of damage. Actually, let's go here. And then maybe I should just cast both Frozen Lances there. Or I can take this one. For some gold. Oh, no, I can't even. Never mind. Okay. Bye. Now we just have to get another tank for this front line in the bottom. We got it. Get back in there. got two restores but see like here man that's that's tough yeah this is gonna be really difficult if we don't get those swaps So we go Thorn Hollow here. Restoration. And then I guess this. Push that unit to the back. This one dies again, but it's got endless, so it comes back. Actually, we might be able to save it. Yeah, there we go. And then here we're going to take, because we do 55, so that's 110. So we're going to take 16 damage up top there, unless... Unless we Ice Storm him. If we Ice Storm him, then... Then we only take uh, 8. No, we would take... Because we would take 24 damage, right? Because you get 3 attacks in. He attacks, we attack... He attacks, we attack. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was close, actually. Hmm. We can put our totem in here now. That'll be one. And we can apply quick. We'll apply quick here again because he hits everything. I don't know. This doesn't feel too good. That swap is good, though. Now we get rid of that multi-strike straight away. 184 damage is not enough. We have to do the, uh, the freeze. We have to do channel song. And channel song would get us what? To get us a train steward, but you know, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, so what's going on? When he gets damaged, he does plus one, taking 20 damage at the start of the turn. I think 18 damage is worth the trade off. There's our consume, so we get healed up. And our train steward can go... I guess here. I don't know, man. I think this one's going to be our demise. We do have that, that frost damage building and that spell weakness, but... But I don't know. 29 he hits for now. So that's one-shotting us. 
this is going to buff his attack damage e even more. I think we're better off doing, like, Frostbite. And maybe a couple Frozen Lances. Or do we just take the Ice Storm? This guy doesn't matter. Because he's going to hit hard when he comes up here. Regardless. So we'll do more Frostbite. Uh, a Sting here. And a Lance. Oh my god, we're just barely holding on. Holy smokes. Okay, Guardian Stone. Incant. Apply one armor to friendly units. That's not bad. Uh, the Spike of the Stygian again. Or the Glacial Seal with the uh, Frostbite of four. How many of those do we have now? Just the one. We're at 30. Let's go here. Rooted, full health. Regen 2 and Spikes 2. Add a copy of this card to your discard pile. This would start coming up a lot, but it's expensive. And we're only reducing uh, damage spells. Let's take a full heal for one of our big tanks. All right. So we're going to go Pyre Health. Go here. And then... Let's see the trinkets. Can't afford them. Incantabilities trigger an additional time would have been great for us. Spells gain an additional upgrade slot. Remove, consume, and cost plus one. Plus ten magic power. If I give this to... Oh, these slots are full. That's right. I guess I could go here. Restoration detonation. And then let's make something cheaper. This is like our last space, isn't it? Our last area. Either make Crypt Builder way cheaper. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay. The end is near. The Great Trader will devour your spells. You better bring more of them if you hope to succeed. The first spell card played each turn gets consumed. Oh, God. But... But, but, that means our pyre health goes up by five every time. So that's a neat interaction. That's really trippy. Okay, so first of all, we're going to go tank. Uh, champion. I can go frozen lance. That's going to get rid of one of them. I should put our, our Siren of the Sea in here. And this one should live because of that. It's good. Take a little damage there. This guy goes up. It's a good swap there. Ooh. Store friendly units of full health. I don't know if I want to ditch that one. Might not have a choice. Okay, let's do that. So it's gone. We get the pyre health. This one dies. I'm going to start putting this frostbite. Or the, yeah, the frostbite onto the boss. That also saves this uh, pyre from taking damage right now. 
This thing's going to take a bunch for the entire round. And then we can go spikes here. They're swapping almost all the time. Another frozen lance to consume. Pyre taking one damage isn't that bad. We would need to heal for 18. Which isn't going to happen. So that one's going to be gone. Let's do this. We get an extra draw next turn. Keep buffing this front group. We will play this now. Our Pyre's going to have to win this one for us. All right. Oh, we did get another... Oh, where is it? This one already has consumed. I'm actually happy with that Glacial Seal. That's, that's perfect. Now, who do we give Quick to? Give quick to our champion, and he clears out these guys before they even get to attack. With the sweep. Frostbite triggers. Do a big heal here. And then a free frozen lance. Uh, wait. Yeah, this is not bad. It's still going to be a 17. And then that frostbite stacking. Yikes. 37. That ain't good. That's not good. Spell weakness three times damage from the next spell. Let's go here. Five times damage. Depends who this hits. That's the problem. All right. Could have been worse. And then we'll put a train steward next. Our poor pyre, though getting hammered on. I need something in front and I can't get it. Uh, we can kill this with Crypt Builder. And it's going to be gone. I'm going to play this again to get more Frostbite on the boss. It's not going to quite do it. Mind you, the uh, the frost should kill it by the time it gets to the next one. It's going to take minus 16, then it's going to take minus 15. If I do that, it'll die before it gets to the pyre. And then... I mean, I guess I use this, or I just use it here. That's kind of wasted. It's wasted here too, but... Whatever, at least we get the stacks. Yeah, that spell weakness and how that all stacks up is really cool. We're like all in on our first uh, 
on our first row here. So let's consume another Frozen Lance. More Frostbite. We'll take two damage on the Pyre. Okay, final wave. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this one. I think this is going to be about it. Uh, this doesn't help me anywhere. This will kill off one, but he doesn't do any damage anyway. This doesn't kill. Getting that frostbite stacking. This only heals for four here. He's going to take minus 566, though. So maybe we should prep for this next floor. We do this, and then we do restoration here. Okay, buckle up. Down to 91. He's dead here. He's dead here. If we kill the boss, this guy doesn't go up, right? I think he's just straight up over at that point. That's insane with all that spell amp. Cool. Guys, that's two wins in a row. And with a brand new faction, nonetheless. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty, pretty, pretty good. So Stygian's up to level two now, so we should get some new stuff. Pyrebound. Can we play it in the Pyre room and the floor below it? Oh, that's nice. The challenge with this deck... Uh, with these, with this faction, I should say, is that all of the spell damage is to the front enemy unit. We still managed to make it work, but that's really tough. 50% chance to apply silence when an enemy unit enters your train. New artifact. Pretty good. Look at this. We're getting there, you guys. We're unlocking things. Pretty soon, Umbra. Pretty soon, Melting Remnant. We gotta kill a ton more, though. And you can see here, like, people on my friends list that have played. My buddies, Marb, Splattercat, both with one win. Covenant rank. The Covenant allows you to opt into higher challenge level. Your Covenant rank goes up every time you win a run at your highest unlocked rank. That's right. Okay. So because we didn't choose to play at a higher Covenant rank la uh, for this run, then we don't get to uh, build it. But I think we're trying a new faction. That makes a lot of sense. I think going forward, we'll definitely try... Um, We'll definitely try to throw those on there. So if you guys want to see, I'll generate a challenge for this. You can see what the run is if you want to take a crack at it. Sounded like I said crack addict, but I didn't. I said crack at it. Uploaded climb salvage. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Another successful run. Um, I wish these weren't an hour and a half long every time. But, uh, you know, if you see a short one, you're going to be like, well, he lost. But maybe we just go really quick and win anyway. Who knows? That was fun. That was a fun first attempt. Wish me luck, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.